Hi guys, it is a beautiful day today. It is lovely. Look at that. Sunshine and nice and everything like that. So, um, yeah, back into the room again. Um, Paul and I have been like hoovering around here now. Paul's about to have a shower. Sally's enjoying it right there. A little tired. Um, we're going to go out soon. We're going to take get my mum and dad's dog, Ronya, um, possibly out to the beach and have the dogs enjoy themselves a little bit out there. Um, at the moment, I'm charging my batteries for my um, drone. Um, the beauty of my charge, I can charge two batteries at once and I use a LiPo guard which is in case the batteries um, should explode uh, the fire will stay in there, it will only come out with smoke um, yeah, probably the smoke will not be very nice to have in here but I'd rather want smoke and a lot of it than I want to have open fire um, so that's why I'm using this LiPo guard here and it's nice to know that I, I protect it, so yeah but the, this is a Hyperion charger, really really good charger um, and I'm using this, uh, I got this with it, this is like a Dell server thingy and it's got power enough to pull like three outlets um, I could have three of these chargers going at once, no problem um, and as I said many times my whole plan is to build that into one of those aluminium suitcases so I'll just have that suitcase standing maybe aside there and whenever I need to charge it, open it, <laughs> click everything in and uh, yeah, uh, instead of just having the line loose like this um, I will probably make a project video about that but um, shower time first and then we get it out. So we gave for a WALK. I'm not going to say the word because she's going to react to that. And uh, yeah, another video been uploaded. Catching up slowly but surely. <laughs> and I'll see you guys um, somewhere else. Because I'm not going to be inside next time you see me. So here we are guys. Paul and I have taken my mum and dad's dog, Rania, and Sally out for... Um, the beach walk here and uh, they look very excited. Rania do get out every day but she only gets out where around where she lives. So uh, here's a nice beautiful area. Um, I have brought my drone. I'm just going to test out and feel how windy it is when I come out to the actual um, water because I don't want to like risk the drone falling into the water. But it looks quite calm out here so I think maybe I will risk take the drone out here and have a little go of flying up. Um, at least I know if it crashes, it's only like 60 pounds to drone. And, um, go on, yeah. <coughs> yeah, go on then. <laughs> Careful, you minx. You little minx. <laughs> Ugh. The puppies are having fun, they enjoy the water. Is that nice one, yeah? It's a bit different than being back home. It's a beautiful day, guys. Hardly any wind. I will be flying my drone definitely here. Um, the ferry is coming in over there. That's from the island called Airsu, which is just over there. That's an island. And then there's another ferry which goes all the way around. Big one, big and big one. And we got like a big uh, oil thing there. This here over used to be a uh, coaling, uh, or you could coal mining, whatever. They got all the coal stuff, um, which has been delivered to different places. But we're going to continue the little walk here now, because last time we were here, Paul and I, it was super waterlogged, we couldn't walk anywhere. Hopefully today we can get through the forest on the way back, so the dogs can dry off. Imagine being here and enjoying that as a view, you can wake up in the morning. Is that strong enough? Just going to try it. Let's see if I'm going to hurt myself. I'm going to risk my risk this for you guys. Are you ready? Okay. Oh. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Silly dog. Yee! This is nice. <laughs> Woo! Yay! Spinning around. <laughs> Not on yet, careful! <laughs> I've got to be careful, this is a very big log, I don't want to hit her. <laughs> there they go. That's what they need, a good swim. Now you'll see, Rania's going to get first there. She's getting the stick and Sally's going to steal it from her, because Sally is such a little asshole when it comes to that look. There we go, oh I stole the stick. Every time. 
Good girl, Ranya. Be nice for a little swim. You, little minx. You're a butthead. You should let you share a bit. Ranya shares with you. You should share with her. Minx. Two minxes are exploring. Ronya is like in her element because she don't get to see this very often. Um, my mom and dad lives in a very quiet place, and they have this friend of the family, uh, which is also our friend. Um, and he takes her out every single day, but it's the same stretch every day, so she don't really get to see anything different. And on the lead. And on the lead, yeah, because he don't trust her. Mind you, it taking uh, you really need to be trust like believing in Ronya because she does very often just suddenly don't give a dang about you and just do whatever she want to do and she has this strange um, temperament it's like everything she sees like a new dog a new person it's a threat she has to get angry at it and bark at it um, she hasn't bitten anyone as far as I know I don't think she would but she gets angry at everything it's like her hackles come all up and she gets like aggressive towards it and it's not very good. That's what I'm trying. One thing me and Paul have really been trying to see if we can get off her, um, because my mom and dad eventually are going to be moving into um, another like semi-detached house where they're going to have close neighbors, which you don't have now. Eating grass. And that um, is something that we really want her to like get off, so my parents can actually stay in the place, because she's going to be barking her brains off if we don't be careful. Two climbing minxes. See now it's. Run, yeah, careful. Don't get your leg trapped somewhere. This is where I want to get a picture of Sally, but she will not sit still for a second, guys. We always said that she's got such a photogenic face, but she will never sit still for more than a second. You almost got to be in sports mode to be able to get a photo of her. So we're back home again guys, and I'm sure it was only a very short flight, but Ronya was really getting on my nerves. When I took the um, drone first up in the air, Paul stayed by the car with Ronya and Sally. Sally left Paul, which she was like really disobedient, Paul got really cross with that. But the second the drone came like two or three, four meters up in the air, Ronya went ballistic, like rah, 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 constantly. And eventually she got over to me, ran straight into my leg and you know like hit my knee so you let, like go the other way and I oh, don't mind all that, that skateboard scars and all that. And that hurt my knee quite badly, um, so I got so angry with her, I had to land a drone first. So it was only basically just quickly up, quickly down, it wasn't anything of what I really wanted to film. I had hoped to like get a really, really beautiful uh, and very high shot and do a 360. Like, next few days, we go back down there again. Yeah, but it's a long drive down there, Paul. No, it's not, it's just a side scale school, that's all. It's about 20 kilometers each way. Well, it's 20 kilometers. Still distance. You gotta think of Denmark. Um, that's a whole funny thing. But when I met all the American guys, when I said, "How far do you live from you, Copenhagen, your main uh, capital town?" and I said, "Well, I live about an hour," and it's like a dreaded drive. And they're like looking at me, "What? An hour? That's just down the road. That's nothing." But that's how Americans are because you, you're such a big country compared to what Denmark are. We're such a small country. We can drive from one end of Denmark to the other end of Denmark in like three, four hours. As much as I like this little camera, I do not like the battery life in it. It's not really, really short-lived. Um, so if you buy this camera, definitely get another battery or two, just to make sure, because it lasts like, what, 15, 20 minutes? And then it's like, bleh. So yeah, only downside of that, because the camera itself is cool. Alrighty, um, but I need to start the charge of these two batteries to get them going. They actually pumped, um, but inside they feel flat and fine. And I don't know what happens if I actually puncture one of these batteries and put some tape over it again. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. Hello, focus on the battery. See, the focus is a little bit... Come on. I know I can, like, press the button and it should actually focus. There we go. Stuff like that I have to get used to. 
whenever it won't focus, just press the touch screen in the back. Do work or go shopping, or just leave the thing at home uh, on the chair so you can bark brains off. Um, it is so irritating. Um, so something needs to be done.